That's how you build a wall. YouTube. How have you been, old friend? Another uh, Submariner auction description video here. This one was heavily inspired by the Rolex Rhodium Yachtmaster. It has a OEM SRP E51 dial, polished Mercedes hands, the blue seconds hand, and this was an ordinary Yachtmaster style bezel insert, but I bead blasted the whole thing so that you no longer have the polished numbers. The whole thing is one uniform matte finish. I think it looks pretty cool. It's different at least. The rest of the watch uh, has your typical factory defects like hairline scratches. They had the apprentice on the polishing wheel again. You can see that here. It's one of those things under a super bright light. Um, you catch at the right angle and you see that, but at a different angle, it's just, you know, polished. So if you're the kind of guy who loves to stare at the bottom of your wrist on a bright sunny day, might not be the watch for you. If you just wear a watch as like a normal person, it's really not a big deal. Um, it's the kind of stuff that could be polished out if you cared about it by a jeweler or whatever, but by the time you get home, you'll probably scratch it again, have to drive back, do the whole thing over again. So I don't know. I recommend just wearing it, but I not worried about what you will do with your own watch. Anyway, let's get into the features. It's the same as pretty much all the other Submariner style builds that I've done. So it's a 40 millimeter stainless steel case, 20 millimeter lug width. This one has a display case back. So you can see the NH36 movement. Let's see if we can get that to focus, yeah. And let's see, where's the balance? There it is. See the balance moving in there? I like this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, movement, NH36, hacking, hand winding, automatic, quick set, day, date, function, movement. So, screw down crown, unsigned. Um, your first setting is the hand wind setting. Second is um, the date. And then you turn it the other way for your day. I believe that's a Japanese character for the the secondary day option, but truth be told, I have no clue what those markings are. Um, the way this works is you just you set it to which one you prefer, and when the the uh, wheel advances on its own, it'll stick with whichever set you chose. So let's uh, keep it in English this time. Oh, uh, I forgot to say, your, um, that's your second setting on the crown. The third setting is going to be time setting. You'll notice when it's pulled all the way out, the second hand stops it so you can set it accurately. That's the hacking function. And then when you click it in, it starts again. I recommend not wearing gloves when you operate the crown because it's difficult, especially these real thick, these are like nine mil thick mechanic gloves. Gnarly. Anyway. 120 click unidirectional bezel, so it only goes one way. And usually when you're trying to get it to stop directly at 12, you go one click too far, and then you have to go all the way around again. But I think I got it that time. Anyway, sapphire crystal, unsigned crown. It has a uh, O-ring on the outside of the crown tube as well as one inside the crown tube. And then there's also a flat gasket, like flat rubber gasket on the flat part of the inside of the crown. Pretty water resistant design, but I don't pressure test these and any activity near water is at your risk. You can always have a local shop pressure test it for you or just be careful with your watch. Uh, it's up to you. Um, like I said, dial is OEM SRP E51. The hands are polished Mercedes hands of the blue seconds hand. The loom on this is crazy bright. I'll show you in a second, uh, glows like a torch. Seiko Loom has always been really good. Before we get into that, I'd like to go over the bracelet. It's just a 20 millimeter stainless steel oyster bracelet. Um, it tapers down to 16, 16 millimeters at the clasp. This does have the glide lock feature. So it's like about an inch of adjustment. No, oh, there goes my claw. Anyway, uh, let me get the lights off and let's watch this thing glow. Hold on.
Whoops, I still have this light on. Let's turn that off too. Uh, yeah. Camera's not focusing, but you can see that that is really bright. Let's see if we can get a reflection off my... No, I'm wearing black gloves, so that's not going to reflect, but... Um, anyway, there it is. Thanks for watching.